Hi everyone, so GoodNote 6 dropped and we have some exciting new features that I want to cover and also I want to show you what's new so that you can decide whether it's worth upgrading or not. So previous years when you upgraded from the previous version of GoodNotes to the newest one it was free but with all the new features that are in GoodNotes 6 you're gonna have to pay a fee to upgrade actually. They have a seven day free trial so you can test it out and see if it's worth upgrading for yourself or not. After that you're gonna have to choose between a yearly subscription or a once-off payment. I'm pretty sure the yearly subscription is only ten dollars and if you have GoodNotes 5 they also have a deal on that and then the the once-off payment that is permanent I think it's $30 so you can choose whether you want to upgrade or not it sucks that it's not a free update but they have some cool new features and very powerful features in here so let's get started and take a look at what is new with GoodNotes 6 if you see any features that are your favorite let me know in the comments down below and if you see that I miss any features also leave that in the comments down below so here we have GoodNotes 6 if you can tell we do have a new icon which I really like it's kind of like a smiley face and let's go in there and take a look so you can already see we have a new UI and you can also see some of the new features so first off we do have this little sidebar here which I really like because I just think it's really nice and it's very familiar to what we see with most apps nowadays and you can also just take that away and bring it up again here you have a bunch of sections you have documents favorites search shared and marketplace so the marketplace also is really cool you have a bunch of different templates that you can use. They have some subscriber special things here, some covers and all that. I absolutely love these. And then they have some interactive exam prep, which is really cool. I'm gonna get to that in a bit, but these are awesome. And then you have just some other things that other creators have made that you can also purchase on here. So they have quite a few that you can see and you can try out. So let's go back to documents. And first thing, as you can see, we have some different UI things. So first off, we have folders that you can now customize with the color as well as icons. So this is really, really helpful if you are someone who avidly uses folders on GoodNotes. It just makes it even more customizable and easier to identify exactly what each folder is. So to do this, let's create new, click on folder, and then we can go ahead and title it. So let's title this one, say you're doing coding, I'm gonna make it purple, and then you can change the icon as well. So here you can see we have a few selected. You can either choose none or one of these. So let's go ahead and choose this one here. Click on done. So now I can just drag my files into each folder that I want. And if you have older folders that you wanna customize, all you need to do is click on this downward arrow and there you can customize the color as well as the icon. So that is all that's new with folders, which I just think is really cool. I love this. Next up, let's quickly create a new notebook and take a look at everything that's new with that. So here you can see we have some new covers here, which is really cool. And you can also go to the color section here and choose from all the different colors within each one or you can go to customize template and customize each element according to how you want it to be so this is really cool I love that they have more options for colors and customizations within GoodNotes um, so yeah here you can see all the covers and again in the marketplace for GoodNotes we also have some other covers then we have paper which you now have the option let's go ahead and choose like a square paper to adjust the color of papers as well so here we have the standard yellow white and black but you can go to customize template again and choose the background color and the color of basically the lines or the dots so that's the foreground so you can go ahead and choose your own custom colors that you want for that so let's go ahead and choose that i'm going to choose the foreground to be a lighter color and let's click on apply and create so here you can see i have now made my own customized note paper um, and also I can customize the cover as well with different colors. And while we're here in the notebook, you will see we have a different layout here at the top with the toolbars. So we have our pen, eraser, everything is kind of similar, but it just has a little different look to it. The icons I feel is more bolder, um, and I just really like the look of the new UI. Also, if you want to go into reading mode right now, not writing mode, you just tap on the pen here at the top and it will go into the reading mode, especially for people who use digital planners with a lot of hyperlinks. That's how you access that feature. And then obviously we have the typing feature. I love that typing has become more 
updated as good notes has progressed because i know not everybody always wants to write sometimes you just want to type and i like that we have this option and then you just have your mic option as well so that is some of the newer ui changes as you can see and um yeah i really absolutely love this now let's take a look at some features within like writing and all that that's actually new i'm actually going to go into my older bullet journal because here i did a lot of handwriting so what is new that i absolutely love is the the scribble to erase feature. I feel like all of these new features have the focus of an uninterrupted workflow so you don't have to switch between different tools to achieve certain things. So for instance we have scribble to erase so if you just have your pen tool selected and scribble over some writing it will erase it which is really helpful. You have this with text as well within like scribble on iPad but the fact that you can have this with your handwriting now as well is really cool so I absolutely love that feature. And another one of these features is the fact that you can now select text without actually having to select the lasso tool first. All you need to do when you have the pen tool selected, draw a circle around the text you want to move, hold down on that line, and as you can see, it transforms into a lasso. You can move it around, and that's that. It's so cool, and it really just helps to not having to just switch to the lasso tool, switch back to the pen tool. You can do it natively just with a pen tool. Also, another new feature we have is spell checking within your handwriting and also correcting that spelling mistake. So how this works is let's write something like buy groceries or something. Let's spell groceries incorrectly. And as you can see, it's gonna underline it with red and indicating that it's a spelling mistake. You tap on that word and then it will show you the correct spelling, but even, even further than that, it will correct it and kind of mimic your handwriting just like that, which is so cool. I think this will even get smarter as you use it with time and maybe we'll get updates even where it matches even more to your handwriting, but this is so cool and it's so helpful. So that is how you can correct spelling mistakes in GoodNotes with your handwriting. Again, just tap on the word, click on the correct spelling and it will change it for you. How cool is that? We also have some updates with like math and things like that. So I'm gonna go to school to some of my older math notes. So here you can see I have all my old math notes. So I'm gonna just go ahead and use some of these ones here select it and then you tap on that selection click on convert and then you can choose between text or math so we're going to choose math and there it changed it to text and you have little equations now that is standing out perfectly within text so that is also really cool with math functions and all that and also like i mentioned in the marketplace we now have some when you go to the education center, you have some ex interactive exam prep books. Um, as you can see, they have so many here that you can go ahead and choose from. Some of them you have to pay for, some of them are free. I'm just gonna choose this SAT math practice course. Here you can see they show you exactly today's study time, to the total study time. You can go ahead and go into different topics and within each one, you can choose the difficulty. You can go to practice. And here you can see AI math assistant will display what you have written below. Um, and also you can type in your answers there. And within these type of documents, you actually have math assistants where it will see when you've made a mistake, it will show you and correct you. So I have graduated high school, maybe like two, almost three years ago. So I'm not even gonna attempt to do this math, but this is so cool. And I think for people who are in school, this will be absolutely so helpful for you. And like I said, they have more than one type. So you can go ahead and take a look at all this and see exactly how it will benefit you. I really wish this was a feature when I was in high school. Okay, so I think that's everything that I want to cover on GoodNotes 6, all the new features, the UI changes, all that. I think this is such a fun update and I can see why they are charging money. It sucks, but I can see why there are a lot of improvements. Marketplace has a lot of different things as well. So you have the option for the upgrade or you can just stick with GoodNotes 5. You're not forced to take it, but really, really cool update. I really like it. Let me know in the comments down below what are your favorite features again. And if you missed anything, please let me know so that I know what else is new. And also, if you are a student, let me know if the marketplace, all the new exam practice things, if that will actually be beneficial for you or not. I'm really curious to know. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope this video could help you out in figuring out whether this update is worth it for you or just figuring out what the new features are. Um, I really hope this helped you guys out. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.